So Trinity, you're also welcome. So you are the third person. And as soon as we have uh, 10 people online, we'll start immediately. So I think I make you four. So we have more six people to go. There are people joining us from different parts of the world. Majority will be Nigerians, but there are people who are joining us from the Caribbean, from the US. So there are time zone differences. So just pardon uh, a few minutes for them to join us. Hello guys, you're welcome on board. There are over hundreds of people who register for this training from all around the world, majority are from Nigeria, but I saw people from the US, Caribbean, and other parts, Ghanaians, yes, that's my second home. So uh, we're gonna pardon the time zone differences. Some of them might have one hour mistake and all of that. So everyone is pardoned, especially on this first day. Now we're expecting hundreds of people, but we already have 12 now and uh, I can't keep anybody waiting. It's not in my culture to punish, to punish a person for the crime of another. So just um, a brief introduction. I told you guys in the email, this is not one of those fancy webinars where people do some, you know, some fancy graphics, talk a lot of bullshit, and then pitch you one product. No, my primary aim is not to sound professional or pitch you into purchasing any product, no. My primary aim here is me as a human being, showing you what I do as a human being, and then praying and expecting you to take action and do exactly what I do and get similar results. Here's why I'm using the word similar. Most of the time I choose my words carefully. The word similar is because I cannot guarantee you get the same result I get. You can't get my exact result. Reason is not far-fetched. I have a lot of things in my background. I have some other expertise. I have so many other things that are still not what I know currently. But if you do just what I tell you here, you will most likely get similar results and I am looking forward to you taking action. Uh, once again, there are no slides, it's deliberate, okay? The reason is that I want it to feel as natural as it can. And so um, I just wrote down a few points for the day one. The day one is the training, the trainer, and the training intro. Then the next in the line is general introduction to e-commerce and selling particularly because People see e-commerce like something different. People see selling as one skill or something that is so cumbersome, yet we sell on daily basis, okay? Funnel process, we're gonna talk about that. And that is where the magic happens, by the way. We're gonna find a product today, right here and now on this call, we'll find a product You see how we find products. But you're actually seeing products every day, but you are not taking note of them because um, you we are not searching for them. You see them, you ignore them because you are not actually searching for them. After that, we'll go into finding a supplier for our products. We'll talk about the pricing. And uh, tomorrow we're gonna um, design a creative, write out something that we we'll use to sell it and actually start selling, okay? And on day three, we'll review our adverts, review, review what's going on, what we have done so far. We take a lot of questions and a lot of answers and a lot of other stuff, right? So right now, straight to the reason why we are here, no wasting of time, no bluffing. 
Today is about e-commerce. And what I promised you guys in the image you saw is that I'm gonna expose the untold secrets of consistent seven figure sales in e-commerce. There's a reason why I use the word consistent because this is what I've done. This is what I'm doing. And this is what I'll keep doing, right? Okay, so like I promised, no beating around the bush, no bluffing and all that. So um, e-commerce, the word e there, just like when you hear the word email stands for electronic, okay? So commerce is selling. So let's say we are doing electronic selling. Simple, right? Means that instead of me to go to the market over there, open a stall and you know showcase my product physically, I'm now doing this electronically. Instead of me to pick up this phone for sale and you know show it out to people physically, um, and they have one-on-one -on -one physical touch and interaction with it, I'm simply taking a picture of this phone and showcasing it to people digitally so that when they look at the picture, they peruse you know, they like it, they may come for fiscal inspection and purchase, they may just purchase outrightly, okay? So that is what e-commerce is all about. No big English here. I didn't go to school anyway, just kidding. So uh, how about the trainer? My name is John Bosco Yifi. I guess uh, most of us already know that. My name is John Bosco Yifi. I'm not here to introduce myself, I'm here to teach you stuff. But if you wanna know more about John Bosco, if you can just go to johnboscoife.com. That's my personal blog. Sorry, I rarely update it, but whatever is there is updated because I take my time to churn out things that are evergreen and you know things that will keep working. I have one blog post on Captera. Captera has made me a lot of money. I mean in dollars and uh, after some time I was suspended because I was getting too much traffic from my referral link, right? So I was suspended. I'm no longer on Captera for the past, um, I would say three to four years, but people still, even last week, someone sent me a message, said he got $50, he want to sell it, you know, and all of that. People have been consistently. Special greetings to people from India, Pakistan, Nigeria, Ghana, and some people in the US. They are the people who have been making a lot of money on Captera. So what I have there, uh, updated, or you could just do a Google search of me, right? You will see some stuff on YouTube. You see some stuff on some organizations I work with or uh, some travel stuff, but I think that will do, right? So that we can have time to focus on this. I'm a father, I'm a businessman. I'm a CEO of Ife Solutions Limited. I'm a co-founder of uh, Lumen Day. It's a research institute where we're trying to bring out some renewable energy stuff, right? So maybe if we have time on the third day when we're done with the business, I may talk more about it. So um, anything you, you may want to find out, right? So um, that's just about me. So I would like to know about you. Let's know who's here and who's not here. Just say hi. My name is this. Just a few people and then we'll move on, please. I just want to know I'm not a robot and I'm not here talking to myself, all right? So who's going first? Chibike, hi. Hope you guys can hear me. Yes, sir. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yes, Chibiki, go ahead. Who else? Who's going? Who's saying hi again? I just want to feel like I'm here with a family. Okay? Every one of us here together. Somebody just say hi. It makes me feel good. Makes me know I'm not alone. Makes me know you are participating, right? Hello, is anyone here? 
Okay. Okay. Please unmute yourself. Please unmute yourself. You want to speak? I am Adeboye. Okay, great. Adeboye, thanks for coming here. Hi, uh, I'm Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. Good to have you. Hi, I'm Hi, Alicia. I'm Shima. Oh, Alicia. Alicia, thanks for being here. Alicia is a very good friend of mine. Uh, I shouldn't say too much, but she is. She's not like I'm, I'm very happy to be here as well. Okay, so, so that we have a lot of um, progress to make. Um, I'm going to thank everyone and proceed with the training of the day. So, great. Uh, from the list of things we have there, we've done the training introduction. We've done the trainer introduction, which is just me, my name. I'm not too much of anything. But if you do a little Google search, you might see one or two things that might interest you. And then we've done the trainee intro. You see, um, I know here people are coming from all walks of life, very smart people. You are here means you are smart. You know why? Um, the, country, the world we live in is a global village. And oftentimes the things that affect one part also affect the other part, right? You see the economy, some US banks are crashing. You know, the war in, um, in Ukraine, Russia is affecting the whole world. So you are here is because you wanna play your role in boosting the economy of yourself, your family, the country where you are coming from. And you know, you are here because you are smart, right? So now general introduction to e-commerce. Now, a lot of us are into e-commerce, but we don't know. <laughs> That might sound funny, but it's the truth. Okay, now here, let me show you something. Um, okay, uh, I got, this is a Redmi phone. It's one of the phones I use. Um, I was going on Facebook one day and someone said, hi, recommend a very nice phone for me. At that time I was using a, a Huawei phone because I like phones that are you know fast. I like Android, I use iPhone too, but because of the nature of my job, I am usually very close to my Android, right? So I, I was like, I was curious, oh, what are people recommending? Are they recommending iPhone, Google Pixel or what? Then I found out that people were mentioning Redmi. Wow, why? Which one is Redmi? I never even saw Redmi for the first time. But people went ahead to talk about the battery, just, um, please, I'm not advertising Redmi. They didn't pay me for this. And even if they did, I would really do some extra research to be sure I'm giving you something great, okay? So, but I'm just talking about my experience. Now, when I went down, I saw a lot of stuff about Redmi. And someone did justice to my problem. The problem in my head was, is Redmi this high and mighty? Is it just perfect? Are there some flaws I may need to know so I don't just jump in? But someone just came into the comment and say, there are different types of phones. When you buy an iPhone, if you can afford it, buy the Pro Max, okay? That's where you get the full options. For those who have cars, you know what full option means? It means it has almost everything, right? So now this guy went further to say, there are some Redmi you shouldn't buy because they are low end products and they might give you tons of issues. And there are some Redmi you should buy. He went further to list a few of them. And I made my buying decision from there. Okay, I went into the market, um, I purchased a Redmi. Okay, and within a few days I was glad, but then there was something that made me sad. This guy made me purchase a Redmi phone. I paid money to Redmi, right? Redmi made profit from this. But this guy who recommended Redmi to me, I don't even know his name, okay? He didn't get anything for, from that sale. Okay, so did he make a sale? No. Did he go into e-commerce? Yes, he did. He helped them sell, but he forgot to take his money, forgot to take his salary, his commission or whatever, because there was no agreement 
and he did not give me a special affiliate link, right? Second thing that made me sad was like, okay, I know this guy didn't make some money, but there should be a way of me saying thank you. But I didn't take a screenshot. I didn't know his name. So I don't know how God can let him know he is the one who introduced me to Redmi. Now I've used about three Redmi phones, but if God can let him know I'm talking about this, I want to say thank you to him. Now, but this is how we make sales on daily basis. You got a nice toothpaste. You told your friend about it, the person purchased it, but you didn't get paid. How about you got a toothpaste for a dollar and sold it to that your friend for a dollar 50 cents? Okay, let's say the 50 cents should cover your logistics, going to the store to buy it, okay? Doing your research and then actually selling it to you. You use some of your saliva and all that while you are doing the selling, right? So that should compensate for the effort you put in. Now you are doing all of these things on a daily basis. Nice cologne, you tell people about it. And then you think you are not selling. Yeah, I, I, I ran into a post on Facebook. You know, someone was like encouraging people to go into selling. And one nice looking lady said, oh, selling is too difficult. I clicked on her profile. I went to her timeline. This lady was basically selling on daily basis, talking about different stuff. And the way she talked about it was so good that I was even tempted to start buying some of them. But she never made any financial implications into it that would, would give her profit. So now selling is not anything so big and big or skimbersome. Selling is recommendation. Hi. Um, you, you, have, you have a very bad breath. Do you chew onions? And the person is like, yeah, I chew onions and garlic. So, oh, this takes a, lot, a, lot, a long time to go off your mouth, right? But I found this product that helped my sister last time um, she had similar issues. And uh, this product, you might get it uh, at a higher price in the market, but I was able to get it at a low cost from a wholesaler at $5, but I'm gonna give it to you at $6. If you wanna to go to the market to get it for $8, it's fine, but I'm gonna give it for you to you at $6. The person would naturally buy for many reasons. One, you've been able to prove that this product actually works, right? Two, you've been able to give a good offer why is still being transparent? I'm not one of those guys who want to lie, say all sorts of stuff just to get you to buy. No, I will tell you the truth in a very enticing way. So let's not go too uh, far into this. Um, a few days ago, someone wrote a post on Facebook. I'm usually on Facebook, on WhatsApp. I visit other ones and then I come back because Facebook is... Uh, brings more of my audience, right? They say you put your hand where your mouth is, that's a Nigerian proverb. So the guy was talking about people buying and selling. And I came into the comments, I had to clear the doubt because a lot of people were commenting off. I don't blame them, that's what they know or probably what they have been taught. People do not buy because they just wanna buy. But let me ask you, as you are listening to me, how many times have you woken up from sleep, picked your phone and said, hey, I'm going to Facebook to buy. Do you do that? If you don't, why do you think others do that? Nobody does that actually. People come online, especially on social media to socialize, to find the latest gist, to you know, have a chit chat with their friends, talk politics, talk a lot of stuff. And then you have an advert that is intruding into their socialization, right? There has to be a reason why they should not scroll up, you know, like why they should stop and check what you are saying. One, it has to sound social, right? Now, two, when they are reading it, it has to be informative, right? Now, three, this product has to show them what they will become after they have used it. I want, I want you to get this clearly. If I am thirsty, and you want to sell some water to me. I am not buying water from you. No. What I'm buying from you is satisfaction. Right? 
if you are sick and you go to pharmacy or you are in the hospital and you are paying for the drugs, you are not actually paying for the drugs. You are paying for the hope that you will become better. Please, I am taking time to explain this is because it's very important. This is the foundation. This is the basis of selling that people usually skip and it affects them down the line. My aim of taking time to explain this is for you to still sell us like your regular daily activity. Right now, I think I'm selling myself to you because you might say, oh, this guy is very knowledgeable. That's just how simple it is. Just, just, just how simple it is. You see some adverts on the TV. Uh, let me use an example. We have a company here in Nigeria, Nestle Milo. And when they advertise, they use a can one for allegedly football player. They say, Papilo, one day you make me proud. They show clips of how a young boy became a superstar. They are selling the idea that when you purchase this, this beverage and you give it to your kid, your kid will become smart, you become an objective, and one day you become a superstar. So they are not selling the beverage to you. They are selling the superstar idea to you subconsciously. Now we'll go more in this and I'll show you how you can actually make that work, right? So let's um, quickly pick with the introduction, okay? Um, good. Next is funnel process. Funnel process, okay? We know what a funnel is, right? Just a quick sketch. Can you see this? So you know what a funnel is? When you put some stuff, maybe water or liquid or anything, and it flows down the channel. Now, there is what we call funnel in digital marketing, e-commerce, or anything that has to do with selling on the internet. Now we have hundreds of people registered for this uh, webinar. So let's say a hundred people. Hundred people flow, flow in. Hundred people flow in like water into this funnel. Now this place is this place is large, right? This place is small, and this place is smaller. Now we have twenty-one participants here. This is twenty-one. But that doesn't mean that 21 people register. There are hundreds of people that register. And uh, let's say 90 check their email, right? And uh, let's say uh, 80 click the link. And let's say uh, 60 remembered this webinar. But unfortunately, some might still be in traffic, some are not opportune to be here for so many reasons, but they are in the best position to explain why. But eventually right now we have 21 people here and active. Now we have 22, right? I believe with time some more people will join us. But this is how a funnel works. It's like a channel. It's, it simplifies things as it, as it goes down. Now we also use that analogy in selling online when we want to describe how you promote stuff. Now, one of the simplest one is social media. I call it the social market, right? Now the social market is in such a way that I came online and say, hey, this product, I, I, I didn't take it seriously, but I found it in my grandma's house and wow, it's superb. And someone will be like, wow, this is legendary. I once heard of it. Do you have more of it? You are like, yes, I have it. I can even do doorstep delivery to you. And uh, I'm selling for this price. And the person is like, oh, that, this, this, that's nice, that's nice. The person says, give me your contact. Or the person gives you his or her contact and address. And you get uh, a mail guy, a delivery guy to deliver it. Finish. That's as simple as it is, right? That's social market. The funnel is very simple. It's just like you and I discussing, and then before you know it, money exchange hands, as simple as it is. Now we also have what we call the marketplace. Now the marketplace is the likes of Amazon, Jumia, and all of these marketplaces where 
you know what you are looking for, right? Or probably you heard about it or you clicked a link and it took you there. You search for your product and then you find it. You click a button, you purchase it, you wait for delivery and it comes to you, right? Now you see this, this is, this is taking uh, a little more step. I think my, the noise from the background might be disturbing you. Give me a moment. Sorry about that. I live close to the rest side, um, but I have a mic I can use to suppress the noise. Okay, I'm switching to. Please, if you can still hear me, type one in the comments. And if let me know if the audio is better, right? Please, I, I want you to get the best of this training. Okay, great. Thank you, Chim Dima. Okay, now, um, from what I was saying earlier, you see this took a lot more step than, hi, this product is nice, give me your delivery address and I deliver, right? First, you have to know what you are looking for, you search for it. And after searching for it, you, you find a product, you make payment, and then you wait. It's a little less uh, interactive, right? Now we are having a discussion and it's easier to sell some, something to me than when I just see a billboard out there, I have to think about it. Now, I will still get back to this stuff, but I'm just giving you a little background so that I will be fast. I don't want to waste your time, but I still want to cover everything so that um, you don't miss anything. Now, there is this one that has changed my life, okay? Social market funnel, it's good. It's your day-to-day -day activity and it doesn't take much, but now, you need to be there to interact with each one manually. You inter if there are 5,000 people who are interested, you have to manually pitch this product to them and then manually collect their details and then manually process, process their orders, right? And then if you register on a marketplace, there are issues of, because it's commission-based, Amazon takes a cut. If it's on Jumia, Jumia takes a cut, right? And uh, there are a lot of policies that you have to follow that sometimes I was on Jumia. I'm still on Jumia anyway, but not very active. I, I joined Jumia in 2015. I have two stores on Jumia, two stores on Conga. I have a store on Amazon and I have experience. I have broad experience about this stuff. There was one time I sold a very nice shirt. Okay, very nice shirt. And um, after about eight days, the shirt was returned to me. Now, from the Jumia portal, I saw a message. They said the size didn't fit. Okay, you see that the guy was bigger or was smaller than the clothes. Fine, I got the return product. But one day I decided to you know, unpack the shirt and I saw lipstick on the shirt, which means this guy practically got a brand new shirt went to have a party and returned it. When I complained, Junior didn't take it seriously. And what did I do? I have to start using this clothes as mine because it's a loss, right? Now, what I'm trying to express here is that you are bound by the rules, policies, and whatever that comes out of this particular market uh, place you have registered. But what about the S? FYW method. Special thanks to Mr. Patrick Ogidi. He's the one that coined this uh, abbreviation. Uh, I actually learned my um, e commerce from him and developed. I met him once in his office. He's a nice guy. He's based in the UK now with his family. He's a very nice and humble man. But he was the one who said SFYW. And I, I guess you might be wondering what, does, what that means, right? It is selling from your website method. 
Yes, selling from your website. Now I build a website, relax. Website is not hard to build. It is not hard to build. In fact, you don't really need to do it if you don't want to, right? There are many ways to go around it. So selling from your website method, what does this entail? It means you are in total control and you can automate stuff. Go to bed. Um, just, just let me show you something. Not to brag anyway, but like I promise it's gonna be practical. So I'm checking uh, my website email and um, I had an order 12 hours ago. I had another one seven hours ago. I had another one seven hours. I had six hours. I had six hours. I had five hours ago, right? I don't know if you can see this here. You see, they are not opened yet. So now, while I am on this call with you, I will be making sales. How cool is that? While I'm sleeping, I'll be making sales. While I'm watching the TV, sales are dropping in. I don't need to manually say, hi, hey, please, I would give you a discount. I don't need to say all that. I don't need to walk, walk my head out trying to convince a customer to buy. I have a website that does all of these things automated, right? And I sell in different countries and all of these things happens in different countries in their different time zones. Um, okay, there are a couple of people here from the US, okay? And they will explain to you right now, it's 9.35 PM because I'm in Nigeria at the moment. And over there in the US, it might be, say 2.35, 1.35 p.m. It's, it's noon, it's in the afternoon over there. And in China, it's, it's even tomorrow morning already, right? Now I can be in my time zone, selling to someone in the US in their own time zone. It comes online by 11 a.m., try to buy something by 11 a.m. My website sells to him as if it is 11 a.m. here. Right? So, and that is where I'm gonna dwell. I'm explaining this because it's so important. This is where I will dwell in. I am not here to teach you some theory, things you can go to Google and find out, no. I'm here to show you step-by-step -step method how I do this. And this is why I'm taking time to show you the background. So that one will just, when I share my screen, you see me doing stuff and you understand what I'm doing. And then when you ask questions, your questions will be informed and I will give you answers that it will be easy for you to grab. So if you are with me and uh, you are having a nice time, okay, please say two, just type two in the chat box. Let me just know that I'm not here all alone. Okay. John Randy, are you, are you able to have sound yet? If you, if you don't have sound, look on the uh, bottom left corner of your Zoom, you will see somewhere that says audio dialing. So you click on it and connect audio. Okay, right, I can see a lot of two, two. Oladi Meji said, I'm enjoying you, great John Bosco. Oladi Meji, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. So um, moving forward, you do not need to build a website if you don't know what the website will be doing, right? Mm -hmm. You need to have a product, know who to sell. Then when you're building the website, you know what to build. Now, one of the major challenges of people who are into e-commerce is finding a product, right? The next major challenge is selling this product. Ridiculously, the most dangerous challenge is managing the money. Yeah, e-commerce can be so lucrative that you see a lot of money coming in, you know, you know, throwing it into your account and you are like, oh wow, I've made it in life. I will never go broke again. And you are shouting hallelujah and amen. And one morning you wake up and your bank calls you to tell you are owing them. <laughs> 
Yes, it has happened to the best of us and we learn from our mistakes. And I don't want it to happen to you. Please don't. It's never a good experience. I have some of my guys who, despite how much we have tried to help them, they are yet to recover from this ugly experience. So, but I'm gonna show you everything, okay? Now, first thing first, finding a product. What are we actually gonna sell? You just wake up and you say, I wanna sell a house. No, let me use water. A famous um, Nigerian singer from the Yoruba tribe, he's a legend, a global legend, um, Bella and Nicola Pokuti. He once sang a song and he said, water, no gets enemy. For those who are not Nigerians, this is just um, a colloquial way of saying that water has no enemy. Then recently someone else sang a song. He said, water has no enemy until you jump into the ocean. <laughs> so now I'm gonna use water for example. How do you sell water to people? Do you get water and then go out there looking for who to buy? No, that would be a colossal failure. Oh, since I'm using big English that I don't even understand, that would be a big failure, a fatal one. Because you will end up meeting 5,000 people and maybe 4,500 don't want water. Okay? And the other 500, maybe 200 are not financially um, capable of purchasing the water. And then a hundred out of the remaining 300 do not trust you to purchase the water from you. Yes, what if the water is not pure, right? Now, how about you go into a prayer ground where people have been fasting for a very long time and you know that's the day they are closing their fast. And then you get a bottle of, a bottle of water. I say, hey, I'm gonna sell this water for $500. And people are like, ah, that's ridiculous. That's so mean of you, but bring the water. I, I'm, I'm very, very thirsty right now. You get it. It's easier to sell to someone who is already hungry for the product. Now, I wanna put this here. I'll, I'll still talk about it uh, by the end of today or first thing when we resume tomorrow. There are some people who have problems, but they do not know they have this problem. Some know, but they do not know the severity. It's your job as a seller to open their eyes because opening their eyes will inform them, will make them know how urgent they need this, right? Okay, more on that later. Now to find a product, do not go ahead and pick any random product and start forcing people to buy. Otherwise you become an overnight hawker. Your shoe soles will wear out and you may not make a lot of sales. Now, you don't go into a beehive trying to sell them honey. You don't. What you do, you go to a pharmaceutical industry, you go to homes where this honey is, in need, is needed and you sell it out to them. Now, here is a simple way to sell. Let me um, paint a small picture. Um, there's a lady. This is a fiction anyway. Her name is Agnes. Please, if anyone here is Agnes, I'm sorry. I, I just, it just came to my mind, okay? Just for the purpose of le learning. Her name is Agnes. And uh, she had suitors, people who wanted to marry her. And eventually they kept leaving and no one was giving her a real reason why they left. Until so one guy, let's say he's the 19th guy, and then when he left, he said, Agnes, I would have loved to stay. You are the best lady I've ever met, but sometimes when I want to kiss you, I just can't get it. It throws me off. The order from your mouth is so bad and I feel like I'm going to suffocate. Sometimes I fear for my life because the order can kill me. I'm sorry, but this is the end of the road. 
she cried bitterly. But that was her saving grace. She found out this was her problem. And then you are a friend, she shared this with you. And then you did a little research and then you found this small home made product that she just needs to chew it, spit it out and smile and she's fine. Now, I'm gonna throw a question to you. How much do you think Agnes will be willing to pay for this product? Hmm? Your guess is as good as mine. She's, let's use the word desperate for a solution and here you have brought it and probably you refer to a few people who have purchased this product from you and they have this wonderful testimony, these experiences, you know, to, 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 to strengthen your sales. Even if you buy it for $1, Agnes doesn't care. As long as that $10 is in her pocket, she would, she would buy it. Yes, I've had a couple of people who tell me, ah, boss, John Bosco, or boss J, like some people want to call me, they say, I have to borrow money to purchase this, although I've stopped that. If you ever tell me you purchase money to purchase any of my trainings, and I know that training will still require some extra money for you to practice it. I will refund you immediately. Yes, I'm not being harsh, I'm not being mean. Yes, why? If you don't have the money to purchase this product, this course or training from me or mentorship, okay? How would you get money to implement it? How would you get money to take action? So it's useless for me to try and teach you something that you will not implement. Right? So this is me. I'm not trying to be so this is just me. Now, but there are products I have sold and people buy and buy tons of it. Now, this is one way to find products, listening, keeping your ears on the ground, hear what people are saying. And you don't have to go out in the street and you know gallivant about listening to um, what people are saying. You can just go to join. Facebook groups, go to Quora, go to Twitter, find these community places where people gather together to talk. Listen to them. Yeah, sorry, arrest me if you can, but I used to do this. My wife knows I'm guilty as charged. So I, I joined WhatsApp groups of women. <laughs> I don't talk, I don't chat. I just watched, I, I listened to their conversation. So, um, and then they say, oh, my problem right now is that I'm having head breakage. John Bosco writes it down. You know what he said? I'm having irregular uh, period. I'm like, okay, this is a big problem because I've had or seen five or six people talk about it, right? So this is the product research. It doesn't have to be too difficult. Okay, now other ways is to do a Google search. And I'm gonna show you something. Let me, let's go to, uh, I'll try to share my screen. Let's be more practical. I think we've, we've talked a lot here. Hmm? We've talked a whole lot here. So um, yeah, I'm trying to share my screen. Okay. Bring it down. Okay, so um, I want to show you something, Parika. I've forgotten the link, but I'm, I'll show you something. I think good. There's a site called Answer the Public, right? There are many of them. You could go to, uh, let's say, uh, Google Trends. Please, if you have your pen and paper, like I, su I suggested, um, this is the right time to use it. So this is Answer the Public. This is Google Trends. So Google Trends, uh, I'm gonna open this on this tab. So now, Answer the Public is a website that tells you what people are searching for in a particular um, location, 
Now, because it's checked my IP, my IP is Nigeria, that's why I selected it, but I could just click here and uh, please, somebody should just write in the chat box, which country should we use, for example? There is no slide here, I'm, I'm, I'm being practical. Choose a country, if you want us to still use Nigeria, fine. Somebody should just say a country. Okay, Jim Dema said Nigeria, okay. So let's stick to Nigeria. So, um, okay, let's say, you can just use a keyword. Let me see. Um, okay, um, let's see. I'm trying to use something that is so neutral that some people wouldn't feel offended. You know, this is a public uh, training, so I have to be as careful as I am. I can't be too careful anyway. So apologies in advance if any way, anyhow, any of the links or anything I say or any of our content offends you. Sorry, apologies in advance. So let's say uh, we're looking for, um, okay, let's use sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just came to my mind, but sleep, it could be anything. So I'm gonna click on site. So Nigeria, you could choose any language here, as you can see, but now, here is what Nigerians are searching about sleep. The data is populating. You're gonna see magic. <laughs> so the things you are going to search on Google yesterday, today, and tomorrow, there is always data, okay? So the search volume is about uh, 6,600, okay? Now, um, how do I do this? Okay, I'm gonna reduce this a little bit. So that we can see the whole view. I think it's becoming tiny, especially for those who are on phone. Okay, now you can see this says, can sleep paralysis cause death? You know what sleep paralysis is? Apologies to those who are overly religious and they are like, ah, I couldn't move my body and until I screamed um, the blood of Zechariah and then I was free. I think my village witch is after me. Sometimes you just sleep paralysis, so you were unable to move. It's natural, right? Not always witchcraft or something of, of that nature. I am not disputing those things would happen, but I'm just giving an example from what I'm seeing here, the medical point of view. So someone else is also searching for, can sleep apnea kill you? Can sleep paralysis kill you? This is a big problem, okay? Now, if you look carefully at this, Point. You see, this is the prefix. This one is where, and people are searching for where sleep wake button on iPhone, where sleep last night. So these are what people are searching. Now, if people are searching for things related to sleep so much, and on the top of the list, we have sleep, uh, sleep polarisis. What should I do? Is it polarisis? Yeah. What should I do? I should just find a product. It could be a physical product. It could be a digital product. By digital product, I mean um, an ebook, a video or audio book, you know, some stuff that you can transmit digitally. You can send to someone, use this link to download it, you know, something of that nature. So how about I create an ebook on how to deal with sleep paralysis, uh, polarisis, it means I'm sure of selling, okay? Now, here's one beautiful thing about this website. Now, uh, if you go down here, you see other things. People uh, sleep without bra is medically good. People want to know if it is good to sleep without bra, okay? Uh, I don't know, I, I don't wear bra, so. <laughs> so uh, this one says, uh, sleep is the cousin of death relics. I guess someone may have sung a song and this and, and the person wants to you know know what words were used now which means sleep is something so important this might sound ridiculous but i'm trying to use something that you might you might think that it doesn't matter okay wait wait if you think not uh, um there are some things that don't matter i'm going to show you something here just quickly right um you'll be shocked I'm here to shock you, to wow you, but make sure you take action at the end. This is the most important part for me, right? So now this is YouTube. 
the weather is not awesome this night, so my network may be a little bit laggy. So let's see. Um, let's see how to drink water. Hmm? Are you serious? If someone is teaching how to drink water on YouTube and people are, three million people have been watching this for the past three years. And aside that, eight ways you've been drinking your water incorrectly and 159K, 159,000, 7.1 million people are trying to know how to drink water. And you know, oh, come on, drink water like, sorry. I didn't watch the video, so I might drink it wrongly. Okay, the water didn't fall out from my nose. So I probably have drank the water correctly. Pardon me if I didn't get this right. But see, people are searching for those things that you think are just normal. So why are you breaking your head trying to look for the most difficult product to sell? People want that thing that you think is normal, is simple. I'll go to some deep parts. Like, let me give you an example. Here's a product. Um, I purchased it from Ghana and I rebranded it. Here's a product, I rebranded it. Here's a product, I rebranded it. Here's a product, I didn't rebrand it. So there are many products. I, I have a clothing line. These are labels for my clothing line. So these are, we are going to the advanced part if you really want to. But I'm here to tell you that advanced or simple, people will buy it. All you need to do is to do your assignment properly, find the right audience, right? Now you are on Zoom. You are an expert at joining Zoom calls. Someone is somewhere searching for how to join Zoom. How to join Zoom meeting. 361,000 people. <laughs> how to join a Zoom meeting. 2.1 million people. How to use Zoom step by step for beginners. 2.1 million. Imagine if you're able to sell to a thousand of them, 5,000, 10,000. So today, if all I'm able to do is to let you know that whether simple or ambiguous, that you will make money from selling your knowledge or selling a product. Okay, I think I'm fulfilled. Um, the last time I sold something I manufactured was this. At that time I was, I, I was in Ghana, I think for eight months and two weeks or thereabouts. So this is a product, I rebranded it, very simple. It's, um, it's black seed tea, okay? And I did a lemon, juice, natural lemon, we squeezed it natural, no additives, everything natural. And we sold both of them together as a combo, right? That was the last time I could sell, manufacture anything to sell. Now I sell things I've not seen, we'll get there. I sold items I've not seen. Okay, like today I make sales in different parts of Nigeria and beyond Nigeria but I wasn't there. I've not seen 99.99999% of my customers. They don't even know me, they don't know my name, but they send money to me, right? And this is my hope for you. So I think we are taking too much time here. Now, another place you could go search for something is Google Trends. Google Trends tells you at, at a given time what people are looking for. So you can key into it. Um, um, I've been selling a, sec uh, a security device for the past four years, but I've sold more in recent times. Why? Because of the pol uh, uh, politics in Nigeria right now, because of the election, people are looking for ways to secure themselves. So now the trend can help you sell more, but trend or no trend, you can keep selling. What I use trend to do is to scale up, right? Because I have this policy of, like this product, I've not sold this product for, I'm trying to hide it, <laughs> don't look at it. So I've not sold this product, it's a health product, very effective, I use it, my children use it, customers give me awesome feedback about it. So 
I've not sold these products in the last five months, but it's deliberate. What am I trying to do? This product is not something you just pour in. It's something you take a tablespoon, right? So I have flooded the market with this product. I am trying to wait so that people will get results from the one they take, so that people don't take over those one. You see, money is not everything, right? Okay, let me not sound too holy because some people might think you are just trying to say you are a good guy. No, money is not everything. I'm trying to make sure some people have gotten results from the ones they use. Second, I'm trying to starve the markets. This is very important. I am trying to starve the market so that when I bring it back to the market, the market is so hungry that they're going to buy. I'm not going to talk about the product. Okay, let me just tell you the product margin. Um, Everything to rebrand, to get this product, everything costs about 5,115 How much do I sell it? I sell it for 37,500. Like I said in the beginning, I'm not promising you will get the exact same result I get, but I'm promising that if you do exactly what I'm saying here, you would be a lot better than you can imagine. So if you go to Google Trends and Click on explore. I didn't search. Oh, sorry. I searched for what was shown here. But we can actually change what we search for if it loads. Okay. And just search for um, remove. Search for um, let's see. Let's move away from health products. Let's say track, tracker. So let's say for tracker in Nigeria, interest over time. You can see from March 14th, you see, people are always searching for tracker for their cars, for their pets, for their children, for everything. They want to track everything. Security. Please write this down. Because I, I know I may forget because I deliberately did not do slides. It's deliberate. Let's feel human. Let's do things. You watch me. Let me not play one script for you and then we'll go home. Write this down, please. There are what we call the evergreen niches. Evergreen is that year in, year out, trend or no trend, these things keep selling. And one of them is security. Please write it down. Security. The next one is health. Health, okay? People want to be healthy. People want to be alive. The next one is beauty. So oftentimes we link health and beauty together, but I like to separate them, right? So the next one is beauty, okay? Okay, now, food stuff and all of that, people need to stay alive. They eat those ones. You can grade them under health. I'll get back to this and add more. But you see these three I've mentioned, if you decide to sell things that relate to them, you will never go broke. Okay, uh, this is a free training and there are just about 18 people here. I got a car a few days ago. Not because, no, I'm not telling you so that you clap for me, no. I have always driven cars, uh, some, of, some people who, who are here know, but, I do things because I need to do them, not because I want to follow trends. And someone said something to me. He said, oh, now that things are difficult, is that when you are doing big things? I laughed it off, but I, it got me thinking. I'm like, why do, would this guy say things are difficult? Is this actually difficult? Yes, they are. For most people, things are difficult. But there's something you need to realize. I'm not trying, I'm, I don't have money if I'm broke. Right? So, but there's something you need to realize. Uh, in engineering, in science, they say energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but can be converted from one form to the other. So if I separate this, right, I am reducing the mass and quantity of this, right, everything. It means that this is somewhere, agreed? Now for every time there is poverty in the land, there is problem in the land, that money that you are looking for is actually somewhere. 
It could be in the hands of politicians, it could be in the hand of anybody, it could be in the hand of the masses, but whatever money you think is not in circulation is actually somewhere. So your job is to find where it is and get that money back legitimately, right? Now, what I do is I offer services and products to people who I know can afford it and they give that, mon that money to me. Um, is it Franken? No, no, it's not Franken. Ah, I've forgotten this guy's name. He would always say, who's got my money? He said, wake up in the morning and ask yourself, who's got my money? Who has my money? And this is the question I ask myself every morning. Who has my money? Ah, is that guy over there? He doesn't have constant power supply. This might sound odd to some of you who are outside of Nigeria, sorry. We are, we are in a nice place, okay? So he doesn't have constant power supply. And um, I have access to um, an inverter, a solar system supplier, and that guy really needs, he really needs it, sorry. We are not here to sell needs. We are here to sell wants. Okay, I will explain this shortly. He really wants it. So I'm going to talk to this supplier who sells this um, solar system for $5. I'm going to talk him into selling this to me at $4, right? And I will sell it to this guy across the road for $6 because I know the regular sellers sell for $7. This is one. I hope you are following. Or I would say, I will sell this solar system to this guy for $20. But I will add 35 um, energy saving light bulbs, lamps, as bonus to him who will get the if you watch the video, the first link I gave you, how to convert a product to an offer, you would understand this already. It's one of the reasons why I gave you that. That video is part of a course I did, but I felt like, let me make this public. The course is 15 videos, energy field, okay? Um, it's, a, it's a quality series. I call it the Ecom Sniper. I just picked that out. I felt like, let me push this out to people for free, okay? So you would already understand what I'm talking about here. So you, instead of $80 that people sell, you either sell it for $6. When you know you are not at loss, you are still making profit. Or you sell it for like a whooping $30 and add a lot of things to it and make it an irresistible offer. If you don't understand this, go read this book. Sell like crazy. Please do by Sabri Subi. Oh. Okay. Read mine. <laughs> I'm not pitching you anything. You can find this book on Amazon. You can buy it. It's called The Minute Before Profit. It's a short read. You can finish this in a day. This, this was written by me. And why I'm recommending it is because I know what I wrote inside. There are some books I might start recommending, but this, you see this, you see this, you see this. It's voluminous, but it's, you wouldn't know because it's conversation. In fact, when you are reading this book, uh, you might feel like you are speaking with a guy. I like the way he wrote. And this book is one of the things that informed my way of writing when I was writing this book, okay? This book is, is powerful. Uh, let me show you something here. Not here to talk about my book, but let me show you. Ah, uh, just just any random topic. Right. You see what I talked here? Very simple. I said, profit. What is profit? And I talked about profit. I didn't go speaking too much grammar. Now, let's not move away from the point. I'm sorry if I have, you know, gone so round, but I want you to understand properly, if this is the only thing I achieve, I feel fulfilled, okay? Now, if you have found 
a hungry market and found what they want, okay, and you get that, they would have taken it from you before they remember they didn't ask you the price. But if you just get a product because you think it's useful, I used to be there. Please don't go there. Don't make that mistake I did, I made. Okay, in my early years, I was like, no, no, I, I instead of selling this stuff, let me sell a TV, let me sell internet, let me sell phone. These things are nice, they are very useful. But the market is not looking for useful things. They are looking for what they want. And that is what a guy said, I can't remember who said that. I think the other day I was trying to remember who said that and I couldn't figure it out. But someone said, you sell what they want and deliver what they need. This might be somehow, right? You sell what they want and deliver what they need. That is to say, this guy wants to make money. And I sell him a book that will help him make money. Someone said, um, I asked God for strength and he gave me challenges. From the challenges, I develop strength. So you sell what they want and deliver what they need. And that is the only way they will come back and say, hey, what you gave me worked. They didn't know that is what they need. All they care about is what they want, right? So you sell what they want and deliver what they need. I believe at that point has been passed. And if there are questions, I would go into them. Alad Major, I think you are, you are typing a lot of things here. Ah. You will not have access to this video after the training. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In the in the in the email, I, I I talked about it. So anyone who wants to get access to these videos later would have to pay something for it. Is there a way I can actually make people who didn't who failed to attend pay higher? I don't know, but we'll figure that out. Please let's go back to the training. So um, Nanda Wolf known how to find a product, let's go into where to find a product instantly. Now I will first go from the known to the unknown, right? Uh, the known is go to classify ad websites. You go to, if you are in areas where Amazon covers, go to Amazon. Amazon has millions of products for you to see either go to eBay and sort by uh, most sold in something like that, right? If you're in Nigeria, there are places you need to go to. Go to Facebook Marketplace. Look at the trend there. Go to Gigi, for example. Go to Jumia. Try to sort these things by the most sold. Uh, I, you can also go to AliExpress because a lot of Africans are buying not only Africans, but let me talk about myself. I'm an African, a full-fledged African, and I have the right to talk about Africa, right? I'm an Nigerian, full-fledged Igbo man. So I prefer to talk about myself than to talk about other people. We are not here to gossip, are we? <laughs> so, so go to AliExpress, for example, and search um, for that product idea and sort it by most sold. There are other sites like Ecom Hunt and all that, but some of them are, you have to pay. But the ones I've listed so far, you don't have to pay for anything. So let me go to Gigi. In Nigeria, we have Gigi. We have Gigi Nigeria. We have Gigi Ghana. We have Gigi Kenya. We have Gigi Uganda. We have Gigi Tanzania. We have Gigi in many places. But it's not just Gigi, right? If you're in the UK, there are classified ad websites where you see people posting stuff you want to sell, both new and old, you are not there to buy, you are there to have an idea, okay? Now that we, we search for sleep here, we see that people are looking to solve sleep problems. Let me go to gg.ng, for example, and um, search for sleep. 
okay? So find anything in Nigeria. So I'm gonna search for the sleep products. You know, when people sleep, a lot of things happen. One of those things is that they snore, okay? Some are caused by stress, you know, nasal congestion. There are many reasons, right? So let's just click here and search for sleep and see what comes up. Okay, now this one says 20 gram insomnia care cream for improved sleeping quality. <laughs> I guess you might be wondering if there was a product for sleep when I made mention of it. There's no slide. If you suggest something else, I will eagerly search for it. Okay, if you think I in sleep is not, in fact, someone suggests something, something you feel like we should find a product for. Two, three people, I will use what you suggest as an example. And you see there are tons of products here. And I can bet you, these products, if they are verified to work, I can sell these and make at least 200 to 300% profit from them. I kid you not. I kid you not. Okay, now you see, there are already things to help you um, have a better sleep. And better sleep starts from what you are lying on to what you are putting on to what you are having in yourself, the food. If you eat too late, you might not sleep well, okay? There are many things. So it's not like one size fits all. Let me give you an example of uh, sell what they want and deliver what they need. Sometimes you want to lose weight. It's one big, one big niche, weight loss. In fact, it's a big niche. In fact, it's an ever, ever green, green niche. I think there's something like that. Now, do you know what some of those people do? They make you feel full. And then when you are full, do you eat? You feel like, no, I'm, I'm still feeling full. I won't eat. Okay? Now, when you reduce your food, you most likely will be reducing your cholesterol. Excuse me, please. Oops. Sorry about that. I don't know where I kept it. So let's go on. I'm fine. So, um, so some of these products, good. Just as I said, we should search for fibroid. I'm gonna look for it. So now what some of these things do is that they promise you weight loss. Yes, that's what you want. But they give you remedies to the causes of the weight loss. So that, that's, that explains sell what they want and deliver what they need. Is that clear? Good. So someone said fibroid. Ah, uh, there's one thing about selling health products. I'm not here to talk about specifically health products, but health is very important. It's an evergreen niche and we keep selling. Okay. So fibroid, for example, one problem with health products is that some of them are not licensed. So make sure you are selling something that is licensed and something that um, uh, is standard. Something that because if if you end up killing someone when you're trying to make money. It becomes blood money and it's, it, it's not good, okay? It's not just good, you're gonna pay for it. And you might get arrested if you sell something that is not um, FD approved, not DAC approved and all that, please. When you wanna sell a health product, be careful. Do not try to remove fibroid and end up removing somebody's womb, please. So make sure you verify, if possible, consult a doctor, it's necessary. In fact, the hardest part for me is choosing a product, not because choosing a product is hard, but for me, for my personal policy, there are a lot of products I would never sell. Not because they don't sell, not because they are, they are illegal, but because I feel like I shouldn't sell it. I know what I stand for, right? So like I said, it's not all about money. And uh, also if there are 20 things to sell to make money, why should I dwell on one? But let's go ahead, fibroid. I hope I got the spelling right. 
Okay, you see there are a lot of supplements to shrink fibroid. You see even herbs and all that. So there is no product that is not available. Let's move away from health. You know, there's something that normally happens in trainings like this. People now jump into what you use as the example. You're making a big mistake when you do that. There's something called monopoly. Please don't try to reinvent the world. Okay, don't try to reinvent the world, but try to do something that you are not in a crowded place. Okay, now imagine a drum of black things, and then you drop a drop of white things. What do you notice first? White things. A drum of black things, and you you, you drop white things in it, right? Uh, am I saying the same thing? But just you, you get the point. So now let's go to a place like, um, where else should we search? You can search for these things anywhere. So we search for fiber and all of that here. So let me go to Amazon for the sake of those who are not here. Amazon has Amazon India, Amazon UK, Amazon China, Amazon.com and all that. So assuming you are not in Nigeria and you search for Firebird, you might see something like this. Please, I will say this because it's very important again and again. Please mind the regulations and rules and laws of wherever you are. Come on. The regulations of wherever you are before you go into selling a product. Do not go against the law, okay? So in, even in the US, there are some supplements that help with fibroid. There are books you can read to tell you how to shrink fibroid, okay? So that's about that, finding a product. Now, just a quick recap. Before you search for a product, make sure you already have an audience. Find out, do a quick research. And then when you have a, a hungry, I like to use the word hungry. But when you're hungry, it's easy for you to eat, right? So those days when we were kids, we we'll go to people's house, and they say, hey, the Moscow, come have food. I'm like, no, I'm not hungry. I'm hungry, I was just scared if my mom would spank me because I ate in a stranger's house. <laughs> so get a hungry audience. Now, let me give you this one. This is universal, whatever country you are in, right? This is universal. This has to do with Facebook. Okay, facebook.com forward slash ads slash library. So open it. You will see all the adverts that people are currently sharing on Facebook in different locations, and then you can make your informed decision from there. So when you get to Ad Library, here you choose the country, right? Then here you have to choose all ads. Don't choose election and policy. Those ones require some license. So let's go to things that has to do with teaching, for example. You see, I'm just using a keyword, okay? So now, um, you see what people are selling here. You see, people are selling food, like food online. So your imagination is the limit, right? People will also sell kitchen utensils. See, this is um, a juicer, a manual juicer, okay? Some people are teaching people how to cook. Some people are selling um, cooking uh, utensil equipment. Some people are, you know, selling food itself. Some people are selling the services of delivering the food, right? This is a chopping board and all that. So there is no limit. See the way I'm squaring up. Now, if there's a particular Facebook page you know that you want to search about, and let's say Heba's Kitchen, for example, they will show you all the adverts that these people are running. Unfortunately, at this time, these people are, are currently not running an advert, no active advert at the moment. But if they had, you would have seen tons and tons of them. Please, 
if this gives you um, the confidence that you can find a product, please type yes in the chat box or ask a question because I'm about to move to something else, which is finding a supplier for the product. Please, if you have learned how to find a product, type yes in the chat box. Hope you can still hear me. Or am I alone here? Oh, wait. Okay, JJ, you said yes. Are you the only one? Please. Okay. Have you seen how we, you can find a product? A lot of you said yes. Please, I want to see a lot of people say yes or no. Please be honest. I am here for you. I might, oh, sorry, let me not make any promises here, but I, I could extend it to four days. No, no, we'll cover everything in three days, please. Okay, okay. Um, there are many places you can still search for, right? Even in your local market, you can search for things. I'm trying to break this down. I want you to see this like e-commerce is your daily activity. Wake up, sell. You see the way I'm here? Okay, sorry. Let me just do this again. Um, last time we checked, I had six others, so. Okay, seven now. So now I could be busy. If you do these things right, I could be busy doing one thing and I'll still be making sales because I have set things up. I'm not here to teach you how to go to people's WhatsApp or iMessage and bug them, buy, buy, or go to your WhatsApp status. Those places are valid, right? No dispute. But I want you to get the best, which is, um, it's no longer the harder that you work, the more money you make, else uh, those who build houses, laborers, they would have had their own skyscrapers, yes. But it's not really that way, okay? It's actually the smarter you work. But that doesn't mean that you won't work hard. But not the hard work, but the smart work. I learned this the hard way. I used to have computer training centers and uh, clerical services, I had a barbing salon, Things we are going on well, I felt I was the boss. Until one day someone came to my office. He gave me a job. Let me say he gave me a job of, uh, let's say it's 60,000 for each of them. But one day after scolding me, he forgot I could still hear him. He called another person. I now found out that he had gotten a lot of this job and he had given it to many people. And I found out that the one he gave, he's paying me 60,000 for, that he had charged 500,000 for it, and I'm like, hmm? he pays to be a middleman more than the seller himself. Because from the 60,000, I still have to buy materials, pay my staff, maintain. He said, oh no, I go home with maybe five, ten k But he goes home with how much? Check, 540K. Doing, not absolutely nothing, but doing the lesser part of the job. So it's actually the smarter you are. So moving on, assuming you found a nice product here, let me see. Let's say you find a product here on Arts Manager. You want to go order this thing from this person. This person is your fellow hustler, right? So let's see. Let me find just the products here. Okay. Okay, great. This is a yam pounder. This is a very popular product selling in Nigeria. Not only in Nigeria. Nigerians, we know how to sell. And we also know how to buy. So this is a yam pounder. Let me give you an example. You go to a classified ad website, for example. Try to find a website where you can interact with the direct seller. Example is eBay, if you're in the US, okay? An example is Gigi, if you're in Nigeria, Kenya, or Ghana or anywhere. So let me say uh, Yam 
founder, right? Excuse me. Okay, great. Here is one. It might be expensive, but just for the purpose of this, uh, let me just click on it so, so we can see details. So now this young founder is brand new, okay? And it's sold by the light merchantile. And it's sold for 7,500. How much is 7,500? Uh, I don't know the bank rate. I know the normal rate, which I purchased dollar. So let's say 75, divided by 745. It has about $10, right? So now on this place, you can click on show contact and you see the seller's phone number, direct phone number. So all you need to do is to pick up your phone, dial this number, hello. I saw you advert on Gigi for the young pounder. I wanna know if it's still available. Or oh, okay, still available. Do you have, a, do you have quantity? Do you have like, a lot of you because I also sell online and I might get just about um, 10 orders a day. Are, are you able to fulfill these orders? Person says yes. Before then, you should have already spotted the location. This person is in Lagos Island, Lagos, okay? So, because you need to check the proximity to you or to the buyers if you want this person to drop ship for you, okay? Now the next thing is, I saw that you've written 7,500. Just in the US, I mean 7,500, we'll call 7,500 here. So I'm, I'm looking at, since I'm gonna be buying a lot from you, maybe you could give it to me at 5,300. You negotiate. First you say, oh, this is the best price, okay? You say, okay, that's fine. You move on to the next person if you're not satisfied. If it brings it down to you, here is why you need to do whatever you can. I do this even on AliExpress. Here's the almighty AliExpress. If I see a product for $10, I usually end up buying it for three, four, five, maximum of $6. I know what to tell the seller and the seller brings it down. I don't buy the generic prices. We've been in this business for so long. So I'm giving a summary of all the things I've learned so far. The power of negotiation will put more money in your pocket, okay? Now, even if you buy it and still sell it at this price and it covers your logistics and all that, you are still making profit. Even if you don't make 100% on all of that. I have a product here. I'm not gonna show you. Just close your eyes. This product, it's a security device. I buy it for 7,000 Naira. I sell it for 28,500 and I'm still selling every day, every time. I sell it even outside of Nigeria. I hope this is clear. But now what I do these days is, hello, I need 20 pieces sent to Abuja. I'm sending the contact details of the person to receive it in Abuja. Are you available? Yes. Please send your account number to me again. He sends the account number, I send the details. He does all the hard work of packaging this item and sending it to Abuja on my behalf. I don't necessarily, in fact, I spend most of my time here. This is just very simple, please. This is where I stay most of the time. Unless I really have to do consultation, I go to the office or anything, but I stay here and I make all my money. Seven figures is consistent. Um, I don't, I think I am saying so much of, my personal stuff here, but let me show you. Sorry, there are phone numbers and people's personal details in this order. So I think it's unethical for me to show them to you then. I wanted to show you one of the others. So you see, they give me their name, their delivery address, their phone number, their quantity. If you start to the third day, you will see how I get people to purchase more. Now. On my site, I have a tradition of listing items. I put one, the amount, two, the amount with a little discount, and five, the amount with a huge discount. This makes people buy more. But let me tell you what I basically do. Let's say it will cost me 3,000 Naira to deliver to you, the cost of delivery to you. And this product is sold for I'm selling this product for 30,000, right? Now, 
if I am delivering one to you to cost me 3,000 Naira, so I'm left with 27,000, right? Now, when I put it there, I put, and if you purchase two, instead of 60,000 Naira, you should pay me 57,000. Guess what? People are like, oh, he's so generous. No, no, I'm not Santa Claus. Here's the mathematics. So what I did is this. If I deliver two to you at 60,000, it will cost me the same 3,000 it would have cost me to deliver one. So it's called fair play. Now, if I deliver each of them individually to cost me 6,000, 3,000 twice, now that it's costing me only 3,000, I'm giving back the other 3,000 to you to encourage you to say thank you for purchasing two and saving me the stress. Do you get it? Now you may have your personal rationales and reasons why you do all of that, but this is my personal reason. So I check the cost that you are saving me and then I put it back to your pockets. You are happy, I am happy, okay? So talk about motivation. It's an easy way to motivate people to buy more. So this is about finding a supplier. Uh, if, wait, please, please, let me quickly ask this. Um, the first person that I joined this call, what's her name? Chinduma, right? Remember I promised you something. Remind me at the end, okay? Please, I'm not good at taking phone calls. I'm sorry, but on my phone here, that's one of the reasons, read me, read me. I have about seven WhatsApp um, accounts here. So I respond to all of them, different country and all of that. So please, I'm gonna drop my private number here. Please don't call me. If you call, I might take it. But please, I would prefer if you send me a WhatsApp message, okay? So uh, especially for Chim Dima, send me a message on WhatsApp using this number. It's a Nigerian number. So we say plus two, three, four, right? So send me a message on WhatsApp so I can deliver your bonus to you. So what I wanted to ask is, please, um, currently there are, there are 19 of us here, right? How do I see this? I need to stop sharing, okay. There are 19 of us at the moment. So the attendance today is slow. I'm hoping that tomorrow will be much, a uh, lot better. If you have ever come across my training before, please type three in the chat box. No, uh, no, don't worry. Whether you purchased this from me, because I know people, there was this guy last year, his name is Innocent, but that guy is not Innocent. He was busy selling my courses to people. I don't know how he was laid his hands on it, but I approached him, I said, guy, what you're doing, I don't like it. You just stop. I could use the police on you, but I'm choosing to approach you politely. He apologized and he stopped. Or at least, at least, uh, at least I stopped seeing it. I don't know if he stopped anyway. But that innocent of a guy, he wasn't innocent. Okay, HKLMs. Okay, yes, three. That was, of course, he's one of my, my chairmen. One Peter V says my senior brother in the industry. So if 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 you have come across my training somewhere, whether free or paid, please type three in the chat box. A lot emoji. Okay, through our boss. Wow, that's that's interesting to to hear as well. Okay, there's a reason I'm asking. I wanted you to just tell people. If I'm being honest in my training, please. Because sometimes I worry that some people might say, ah, I make things sound so easy and it may not be so easy and I don't blame them. They may have had some encounters where people say things that are not the same with reality. Today, we are doing a lot of a um, mini theory and mini practical. And tomorrow is going to be full time practicals. Please, if you have come across my training before, whether on Expatnia, on Crab or on PickTab, on anywhere, because my, uh, uh, what's it called? 
have my courses in different places. Um, just if I am being very honest in my training, and uh, and it's it's always worth it. Please let us know in the chat box. Alad Meji said, honestly, your honesty and style of coaching gave me the courage to come here today. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you find my words true. I remember that victory training. I think that was last year. He did a free training like this. I think it was 14 days. And uh, I came out to tell people, hey, you guys are here on a free training, but you didn't know that victory. For the three days, he asked me to teach you Facebook advertising. For two hours on each day, he paid me 30,000 Naira. But he's giving it to you for free. So I, 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 I had to, you know, I, that outburst came from my point of empathy. If he paid me 90,000 cumulative to teach you guys Facebook advertising, and I'm sure there might be some other cost implications for that 14 days training. And it did not bear fruit. Oh, I wouldn't be happy. So I had to shout. I was like, you guys, hold your ears. Be, be serious with this stuff, you know, because I, I was imagining if it were my money, I, wouldn't, I might not even mind. But I see him as a very good man. For him to spend a lot of money, I don't know how much, but he might have spent over 500k. You give you guys free training. I even gave you a platform where you could earn. And I wanted to make sure that his money you know, was useful. That was how I started shouting that day. Please, please, please. Okay, I'm first to speak in your YouTube review on what people say about yes, 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 educate Thank you for that video. I remember, I have some of your videos on my website, some of you guys, and I'm glad you gave me those videos. At least people see that I'm interacting with real humans. So please, back to business. Thank you so much for bailing me out here. These things are hard. Of course, I had it very hard. People are still having it hard till tomorrow, they will. But I've been able to find an easy way to do it. I think it was Warren Buffett, Buffett that said, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you'll be broke or something like that. That statement, it struck a chord in my head and I began to find systems and ways to automate as much as I can. And those that are not automatable, I put in my best. I'm sorry to say this, not to scare you. You don't have to be like me. I'm connected to many organizations. I have a startup, I have a lot of business. I still have time to teach people for free. I still have time to quit. I have a family, I have, but sometimes I work between 15 hours a day on average. Yes, I have worked 20 hours, but it was, it was, it was like a do or die affair. I had to help out, okay? So I work so hard. So whatever I get, I get it and I'm happy I did because I worked hard and I worked smart. So it's just uh, in good tune if I'm able to automate stuff. Now I've been able to learn how these things are working and they are working for me. I make consistent seven figures. That is not to include other countries who because of their exchange rates, they might not be seven figures in their, in their, in their currency and all, but when you bring it, it's, Another multiple seven figures, right? So I'm gonna give it, I'm giving it to you for free already. And I hope you take advantage. Then if you feel like you want one-on-one -on -one training, that's a different thing. If you wanna join my tribe, I have a tribe, I have a community of people I'm training. They have access to me at least once a month. I go live, I answer their questions. I teach them new stuff like uh, just now, chat GPT-4 is out. I explore it. The other day, I use it to write 15 emails to sell uh, marketing blogs for if you're on them on JVZoo. Okay, so I test these things, I study it, I learn it, then I show you. So if you are a member of my tribe, you've got nothing to worry. Jumbo School will always give you the latest, okay? 
But for now, this is free, no strings attached. I've been able to show you how to sell, what to sell and how to find a seller, but I did not show you deeply selling from your website. Yes, because remember what I said, you don't open a website when you don't know what will be on the website, right? Okay, I have a couple of websites. I have many websites. I also build for people. I have many websites. Uh, many of them are in the US. T54 Project International Climate Organization. I built their website. Um, Igbo Anglican Church, Oakland. Emmanuel Igbo Anglican Church, Oakland is in the USA, California. I built their website. Project Peace Light, you know, there are many of them, organization, individual, company, you know, and all that. So now, before we go into the main practical of tomorrow, I want to explain deeply to you price points. Because I'm sure many of you joined this program because you heard I make 300% profit and all that. It's not always the case. I need to be honest with you. It's not always the case, but most often I make even more than that. But it's not 100% the case. Now, let me give you a simple example. Where is my calculator? Please, can you see my calculator? Let me know. I'll let me have posted my number before I'm posting it again. Can you see my calculator? If you can, please type one or type any number at all so that we can proceed. Okay, great. So now let's say I get a product that cost me 5,000 Naira, okay? And let's add cost of delivery, 3,000 Naira. Let's say, let me use high value for this. Let's say Facebook advertising cost me a thousand naira per purchase. And what else? What else? Whatever maintenance that comes in, everything is 9,000. Now, it is easier for me to sell these products. It's easier for me to sell this 5,000 naira product for, say, 15,000 naira. Okay? And then I remove all my costs, which is 9,000 Naira, and I have 6,000 6, Naira. What's the percentage of my profit? And this, this should be around um, 120%, right? Now, if I'm bold enough to sell this product for, let me not make it too much, 30,000 and I subtract um, 9,000 from it, I would have 21,000, okay? Let me divide 21,000 by 5,000. I would have about 420%, if I'm not mistaken. Profit, yes, net profit. That's what I, people who have been in my courses should know. I'm interested in net profit, not total sales. There are some people who tell you, we, I make sales of $1 million. Gently politely ask them, how much is your cut in the $1 million? It's very important because you are not a charity organization and you are not here to waste time. Here is my philosophy. Business is not always sweet, right? But if you subtract your losses from your profit, and you have at least one naira, one dollar, one cities, one shillings. You have at least a positive integer remaining. You are in business. Don't be too greedy. But the very moment you begin to have losses, you need to think. Now, even if you are having a lot of profit, you are in business. Now, the next question to ask yourself when you are having positive integers is, is that enough? to cover eventualities and all that. We'll talk about money matters another time. But this is how I price my products. First, I, first I look into the, first, 
I consider, sorry, products costs, okay? Then I add cost of adverts, then I add cost of delivery, and maybe any overhead costs that may come in. Sometimes I need to send the item from Lagos to Poracos and I will have to give it a vehicle to for onward forwarding to Poracos, right? That's an additional cost. So now when I've calculated all of these things and I ask myself, what is my target profit at the end? If I add my target profit and I think it's not enough to cover for eventualities, fail deliveries and all that, I increase it. Now, this is grossly dependent on your offer. You don't just bring a bottle of water and then you are asking me to pay you $5,000. Who does that? Is it holy water? Even if the water is from the Canaan land, is it from the Red Sea? You know, is it the one that uh, King Herod was drinking when he wanted to kill Jesus? So why should I pay? That's, that's oh, no English, no big English. That's, that's too, too bad, right? Okay. So. Now you have to be reasonable. Now, if it doesn't cut it, the stress and all that, and the profit is not enough, not enough is different from not big. Enough is in the sense that, okay, it's something out of it. There are products I sell with 5,000 naira profit, there are products I sell with 30,000 naira profit. And the 5,000 naira profit can help me for day-to-day -day activities, covering, covering a few bills. The other one is for me to reinvest, you know, and do some stuff, okay? Now, by tomorrow, you will see all of these things come to play. But before we end, I'm, I'm gonna give you a quick recap. Okay, this is about e-commerce. E, like in your email and all of that is electronic. Commerce has to do with buying and selling. Of course, you get it from your supplier for a lower cost and you sell it to your buyer, which is the end user at a higher cost. So e-commerce is electronic selling, right? Now, selling is all about recommendation. Those who are into affiliate marketing will understand this better because what I do is I tell you, oh, I found this on the next door neighbor. And I think it's good. Check it out. I didn't ask you to buy. I said, check it out. When you go there, you find out there's a price tag. And then you purchase it. You purchase the product. And the seller says, hey, guy, the person you referred to me has made a purchase. And here is your 50%, your 20%, your 5% tax. That's how affiliate marketing works. It's the same thing applies to every other e-selling. It's a recommendation. The very moment you begin to sound salesy, Come and buy. Okay. Sorry. Um, Choma Ifanyeze in her recent training, she was saying something that made me laugh. She was like, some people come to the Facebook timeline and they're shouting, I sell bra, I sell bra. <laughs> She's a woman anyway, so she has seen these things a lot, a lot of times. But the way she put it, she's like, don't we know where to buy it? You need to be creative, okay? That's why on Facebook, the video, your image, they call it creative. You need to be creative to turn that thing you want to sell, to turn the statements into recommendation. That is why you might have the best product but you can't sell. That's why you might have the best product but you can't sell because you are trying to sell. So the very moment you quit trying to sell to people and start recommending to people, that's the very moment you begin to sell and people begin to buy. I hope you get this clearly. Now, um, I used to carry some hair, but at the point I removed it, okay? Now let's assume I have bad hair and I use this and my hair became like Bob Marley and I told you, I noticed you're having some, your hairs are running away from you. Do you mind if I touch it on your head? And I touched it, you came back three days later and told me, hey, 
What did you do to my hair? It started growing. The desert is becoming an orchard. I'm like, ta-da. You are like, wow, so fast, just in three days. Can I have it? I said, any amount I call, you would eagerly give it to me. And that is what happens when you use a very nice video that entices people into showing them what they stand to gain when they purchase your product instead of the features of this product. Hey, when you buy my beverage, you become a superstar. Not when you buy my beverage, you will get vitamin D. That's not enough. Okay? So now, find a way to convert whatever you are selling. Convert your statement into a recommendation. And you will never stop selling. I will dive into that tomorrow and you'll be glad you are here. So the next thing is the funnel process. I've told you how to, you know, reach out to people. You could do it by WhatsApp status. I see a lot of that these days. Marketplaces or selling from your website like I showed you, right? Uh, no, tomorrow I'll be showing you guys websites, okay? But let me see if I can, let me see. Let me see something. Let me see, just quickly, GH. I'm on break for this product, but let me see. I don't know if I got the link correctly. Uh, my network is active. Okay, yeah, the link is correct, it's coming up. Okay, now look at how simplistic this page is. But now let's do a little scroll up. You see, he seems like he's teaching some stuff. Thank God images are not loading so that you wouldn't know what product I'm talking about. But then at some point, he begins to tell you that this solution will change your life forever and you stop going to hospital or buying paracetamol every day. That is what they want. Move the customer from point A of buying paracetamol every day to point B of being the healthiest guy in town, right? Now, so I am pitching the best solution. I didn't ask them to buy, but I told them that the best solution you need is this black seed body detox solution with free smokeless mosquito to keep you to help you kill mosquitoes and stop taking malaria drugs every day. So I am telling them what they will get, not the physical product, but the result of taking the physical product. I hope you get this clearly, right? Okay, now, then I bring in some other things that talks about urgency, the pricing. Um, okay, now here is this, 350 times two is 700. And this is what I'm telling you, 650 for two, right? See, this is not really about the design. Now, when you have a very heavy design on your website, sometimes the page loading speed becomes affected. And at that time, not everyone has the patience to wait for your page to load. And in certain countries where the network the connectivity is too poor, people end up leaving your page, right? Now, we'll get into this at a later time, okay? So now, sorry. I've shown you how to find a product by first finding the audience, know what people are looking for using answerthepublic.com, using Google Trends, using classified websites, um, Gigi, Jumia, um, what's it called, Amazon, using uh, marketplaces and all what's not, okay? And then I've shown you how to find a supplier. I use Gigi, for example, you could still go to eBay. Um, I have a course I'm selling called Ecom Sniper. There's, there's something I did in that course. It's a 15 video course that teaches you from start to finish, from scratch, I, it's scripted, so I didn't miss anything, okay? But now, because I do not want 
my students to be limited. I gave them two free courses. One is my US mini importation to Nigeria uh, course, the training, the tutorials has its own videos. The other one is importation from China. And recently I added my book, the, what's it called? The minute before profit to it. Now, what's the idea? There are some products, there are some problems you see and the products are not readily available and you need to import them, okay? Now, I could upsell them and say, after purchasing this, purchase it, but no, no, I need the money. But I wanna be happy that you wake up one day and send money to me and say, thank you boss. It will give me some more fulfillment than when I'm exporting or extracting from you without caring about your success, right? I'm not trying to be too good, but I'm glad some people have attested to my honesty in this industry. I make more money selling than teaching. And that is why I, I, I wanted to retire but people kept coming to me and say, oh, boss, it's not fair. You want to retire because you feel it's stressful to teach than to actually implement. So what should we do? Should we now jump into the river? And I'm like, okay, I will give back to the community. And that is why I'm doing this. All these two hours we spent on this call, I know how much I would have made from it. So. It gives me more fulfillment when I spend this time and it becomes productive and then you come back with your thanksgiving. I'm an imaginary pastor, so you give me imaginary title, I would pick, okay? So um, now you know how to find a supplier and I've explained the price points where you need to consider product cost, advertising, delivery, miscellaneous. Choose your profit margin first. When you bring all these things together, you cannot know what the price of the product is, okay? Now, the quality, sorry, not quality, the type of product can influence your profit margin. It's one of the reasons I don't just sell anything I see, no matter how enticing it is. You see this yam powder, people sold and sold and made millions of naira from it, but I never sold it for once. Why? I felt it was too generic. There is a video going online. A lady was selling a, a, a kitchen item. It's a pot actually, but it's two layers, very nice one. I sold it three years ago. The lady is still selling with my own video. I have shown you that I just laughed over it. I didn't query her. She can go on. She just blanked my company name. If a solution's limited, I let her go. She's using my video. The voice in the background is my own voice. Okay, but it's helping her and I'm not gonna sell that product anytime soon, so she should just go on, right? So um, I think I need to take questions. Drop your questions, let's give answers to them right away before we end for today. I'm gonna stop sharing my, my screen. Please ask your questions. Although I know most of the time after teaching, I get only one or two questions. They say I explain to the end, but it doesn't make me happy. Ask 50 questions, I'll answer 50 of them now, and I'll be glad I gave you answers, please. Ask your questions, question time, answer time. Who's gonna be the first person to ask me a question? Who would that be? Uh, are we on mute? Everyone now. So you can unmute yourself and ask your question. Unmute yourself and ask your question. If there's no question, just tell me no question. So we'll end for today. It's been a roughly two hours of the night and I think we covered something and tomorrow we implement what we covered. Is anyone asking a question? Or we should just say good night. Are you sure you guys can hear me?
wow. Adeboy, watching a Melo Sam, Ejike, Vincent, Chibike, Sylvia, Chimdima, Victor, Dominic. Can you hear me? Wow. Okay, I think it could be network lag. Does anyone have a question? Or we should just share the grace and say good night to each other. Unmute yourself and ask your question. Okay, your mic is not getting across. Let me see. Okay. You are muted, so you should be able to speak. I guess it could be network. So, okay, if there's no question, I would like to say um, good night to everyone and, um, and please ask you to make sure you, you are here on time tomorrow so that we would actually cover a lot more. Tomorrow is more practical than you can imagine. So since we're not getting any question from anyone, I'm used to that anyway. Most times when I teach people say no question, no question. JJ, you didn't get the free course I dropped. The free course I dropped, if it's the one in the email, go check your spam folder, it might be there. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know your name because what I can see here is iPhone. It says I have a question. He said 3K was used for delivery cost, but sir, isn't the cost of delivery higher? For example, if I'm sending from Lagos, there will be a charge and also a charge for the dispatch to deliver to the customer in, in their own state, which may be up to 6K. Yes, you are right. But here is what I do. Like I'm, I told you, I'm here to teach you what I do. Now, uh, let me share my screen. I'll show you something on Gigi. Share screen. So now, you see, this person is in Lagos. But let's assume I am trying to sell something in Lagos in uh, Abuja also, I could just search for, this. I'm searching for a camera. And then uh, I go to location, okay? I choose Lagos, right? Then uh, I find the supplier in Lagos, okay? And then I go back there, I choose um, Abuja, and then I find a supplier in Abuja for the same product, okay? Now, what I will do is that for every purchase, uh, for every um, order in Abuja, I purchase from the supplier in Abuja. Now, this is not always the case because sometimes you might not find a supplier everywhere. So what do you do? Or rather, what do I do? What I do is this, let's say in Lagos, and for, let's say this product has only one supplier in Nigeria and that person happens to be in Lagos. What I do is like, I purchase like five, 10, 50 pieces, depending on my purchasing power and the kind of products and how fast it moves. I purchase like five or 10 and send to Abuja. My delivery guy keeps it there. So the orders are coming on daily basis. So I'm sending the orders to them. They are just picking from their warehouse, their store, and going straight to deliver. This will also help you to do same day delivery. This will also help you for same day delivery. You get it now? So um, I don't know your name because what I can see is iPhone. So, but this is 
how I, John Bosco Ife, does it and I'm able to bring the cost down. Remember I told you, I make, small, I make multiple seven figures and I'm here to show you how I do that. Now, if it costs me, sometimes it could cost me 2,000, 3,000, but let's still use 3,000. If it costs me 3,000 to deliver that in Abuja, it means I have put 3,000 naira back into my pocket. For someone who doesn't know how to go about it, we spend 6,000 while I spend 3,000. Do you get it now? If you understood what I say, just, uh, just say yes so that we can move on to another question or end for the night. Okay, great, great. So thank you everyone for showing up and I hope tomorrow more people would show up to there are hundreds of people who register for this and i want to wish everyone a good night okay good night everyone tomorrow during our question and answer time if you can show your face i want to see your beautiful faces and handsome faces okay so see you tomorrow same time 9 p.m west african time that's nigeria time and i'm gonna devour this selling goliath and you'll be glad Thank you all and good night. Enjoy the rest of the night. And for those who are still in the morning, have a good day. Bye.